how to remove and fit your G-Line wheels. The most common reason to have to remove your wheels is because of a puncture or to perform maintenance on your bike. Front wheel removal. For this job, you will need a six millimeter hex key and a torque wrench. The front wheel uses a through axle. Undo the through axle completely using a six millimeter hex key and pull to remove. It is important that you do not squeeze your brake lever while your wheel is removed. This could create a fault in your disc brakes. Front wheel refitting. Slide the wheel in between the dropouts. Make sure the disc rotor is between the disc pads. Fit the axle bolt through the non-threaded side of the fork dropouts and tighten using a six millimeter hex key. Torque to 11 Newton meters. Rear wheel removal, G-line. For this job, you will need a two millimeter hex key, a 15 millimeter spanner and a torque wrench. Place the bike in the highest gear, eight. Push the tab towards the front of the bike clockwise to disengage the gear cable. Then pull the gear cable to disconnect it from the cable clip. Undo the chain catcher arm bolt and remove the chain catcher arm using a two millimeter hex key. Remove the chain off the chain ring to give slack. Undo the wheel nuts by using a 15 millimeter spanner. Disengage the tab washers and remove the nut and the washers from the axle. Keep safe as you will need for reassembly. Slide the wheel out of the dropouts, then remove the chain from the sprocket to fully extract. It is important that you do not squeeze your brake lever while your wheel is removed. This could create a fault in your disc brakes. Rear wheel refitting, G-line. Rotate the assembly until the cable bracket is parallel to the drive side chainstay. Then loop the chain around the sprocket before inserting the wheel fully into the dropouts, making sure the disc rotor is seated between the disc brake pads. Fully insert the wheel into the dropouts, aligning the tab washers correctly. Ensure the white tab washer is seated on the non-drive side of the bike and the silver is on the drive side. Using a 15 millimeter spanner, secure the drive side nut first. Tighten both sides to 30 Newton meters using the torque wrench. Refit the chain onto the chain ring, then reinstall the chain catcher arm. For detailed steps on how to do this, Click on the link in the description. Push the gear cable into the cable clip, then rotate and hold the assembly tab in a clockwise direction to engage the gear cable. Be sure to align the flat sides of the cable nut in its design slot. There should be no reason to index the gears on the Alfine system. To check if they're in working order, shift to gear four. The two yellow lines should be aligned. If misaligned, you will need to re-index your gears. To do so, click on the link in the description. Rear wheel removal, electric G-line. For this job, you will need a two millimeter hex key, a 19 millimeter spanner and a torque wrench. Unhook the motor cable from the C-clip, then pull the motor cable until it's disconnected from the controller cable. Place the bike in the highest gear, four, Release the rear frame to disengage the chain tensioner, then reattach the rear frame to the main frame. Undo the chain catcher arm bolt using a two millimeter hex key and remove the chain catcher arm. Remove the chain off the chain ring to give slack. Undo the wheel nuts by using a 19 millimeter spanner. Remove the tab washers and nuts. Keep safe as you will need for reassembly. Slide the wheel out of the dropouts then remove the chain from the sprocket to fully extract. It is important that you do not squeeze your brake lever while your wheel is removed. This could create a fault in your disc brakes. Rear wheel refitting, electric G-line. Hook the chain onto the sprocket and slide the wheel into the dropouts, ensuring the disc brake is seated between the pads. Make sure the spring and shrink wrap on the motor cable are correctly seated at the motor cable entry point. If the spring is exposed, ensure to cover it by pushing the shrink wrap all the way down on it. Place the anti-rotating nut, followed by the washer, then the domed nut. 
Fasten both sides using a 19 millimeter spanner, then torque to 30 Newton meters. Refit the chain onto the chain ring, then reinstall the chain catcher arm. For detailed steps on how to do this, click on the link in the description. Reattach the motor and connector cables, ensuring to match the arrows before inserting fully. Then slot the motor cable in its designed C-clip. Release the rear frame to re-engage the chain tensioner, then reattach the rear frame to the main frame. Ensure the gears are indexing correctly. If indexing is needed, please click on the link in the description.